Engine boost activated. So we're back once again today, and today we're playing the Jombard, the French Tier 9 Premium Battleship. I've heard a lot of things about this battleship. Um, one of the main reasons I actually got it was because of the fact it was being removed from the armory. Um, sadly, I had exchanged some steel for it, but, you know, it's the cost of doing business. We do finally have it though, and I've been watching a fair few videos before I actually even played the ship, and reading the bit of online commentary on it and the kind of overwhelming opinion I got was the fact that this ship's actually really strong. Um, obviously it's a bow in ship. Um, the A is pretty monstrous but I haven't been able to actually test that out all that much. Um, a lot of the videos seem to be pretty outdated so you get a little bit of you know historical um, bias shall we say with the old CVs being in the game. Um, I haven't seen all that much evidence of the AA being just as effective on the new um, carriers, so that'll be something I'll have to investigate as time goes on. That being said though, I've been really looking forward to playing this ship. I think this game right here is my third game overall, so, you know, I'm still getting a little bit used to it, figuring out which ammo to use, you know, how to aim with it. One thing that's been actually really struggling for me, or I've really struggled with, is the fact that you get a hell of a lot of overpens. Now, that could be mostly due to the fact that these shells are extremely quick. Um, and so as a result, you're just going to get overpens regardless. And you'll even see throughout this game, it makes me fairly anxious of shooting very thinly armored ships, like the chap I have, as you can see, straight ahead. <clears throat> We're going to aim at it. We're going to shoot at it. A notoriously weakly armored ship um, and as you'll see I like to think my aims are relative decent we get three over pens and you know at this point when you're learning new BB things like this are gonna happen there's just things you're gonna have to adapt to it and things you're gonna have to figure out that being said though um, I will of course adjust my aim a little bit um, as we take a massive chunk. I'm not even sure where that came from. I think it was the Amagi. Um, but again, when you're showing flat broadside, anything can really pin you. Um, again, this ship's very much a bow and ship. You can take a hell of a lot of damage on this ship. Um, I think my previous game before this one, I managed to tank like 2.2k. Or, sorry, 2.2 million damage. If I was tanking 2.2k a game, um, I'd really have to think about what I'm doing. But yeah, 2.2 million damage. Very, pretty easily actually. So never underestimate the ability to tank damage in this ship. That being said though, um, I've been having a bit of a hard time recently just getting into the mode of wanting to play battleships. Um, as you probably know, I'm very much a DD player and I've been grinding the um, British DD line as of, as of late. I've been really enjoying it. Um, but this is a nice, um, this is a nice switch up, you know, the fact that it's a premium ship makes it a little bit more, um, a little bit easier to deal with. But that being said, I mean, I say this is a typical BB, but it's really not. I mean, you've got a heal, you've got reload booster, you've got a speed boost. The top speed in this thing is ridiculous. Yeah, pretty maneuvers pretty goddamn well too. It's just going to take a little bit of getting used to. That being said, we're up to 20k. Again, not fantastic. Averages at, at about 2k damage a shell. And the one thing that frustra frustrates me the most, as you can see, the Moscow have been a lot more heavily armored than the Chabayev. I get pens, I get citadels pretty easily. Um, so again, it's going to come down to picking your targets, aiming it effectively, you know, and the damage will be there. You will be rewarded. Let me take another pot shot, but again, um, we get a pen, which is always nice, about 6k damage, takes us up to about 40k, and if you'll notice, look how much damage you've taken. Look at the absolute monster amount of damage you've taken. This is why premium heals so effective, and I think, I don't know if they changed it or not, 
But I think the Jean Bart used to have its heal being on a lower cooldown um, than other heals than that other battleships would have, or other cruisers. I don't know if that's changed, I don't know if they reverted it, but um, yeah, that's just, if it's if it's true, you know, I can't tell, but if it is true, that's a very nice little perk to have, especially in those situations where you are going to be tanking a hell of a lot of damage. We're up to 930k here, um, and we'll probably be tanking a little bit more before the end of the game. The Gorza Corvus decides to push in like a clown. Well, I say like a clown, but I, yeah, well, no, this is pretty clownish behavior. I'm reversing behind an island because I don't want to be fired by the Cha uh, Moskva and the Chabayev. Um, although I will be showing my side to the Cleveland and the Verdito group, but that's not. I can always accelerate and get away from those. Um, main focus now is just burning down the Gorza Corvus first and, you know, trying to break some of his guns. This is like. This is another thing that I'm trying to figure out at the minute. Which ammo type to use, even though we get beautiful four pens on that on that salvo. Do I want to use HG more often? <clears throat> do I want to use AP? When when do I switch those up? And I think I'm finally coming to the conclusion that um, if I'm shooting at something like the chap I have, or maybe like a like a GK, and he's bowing or he's angled. I a particular way where I can't really get good penetrations on him in the John Bard. It's probably best to use HE. Hmm. Because I don't want to run the risk of overpenning a Chapayev 15 times and him taking 15k damage. It, it It's just not efficient. I'd rather use a HE, either get 3 or 4 fires, um, make him use his damage con, make him at least take 2k damage per pen. Um, that way, you know, you're decimating them even though you're not being fully effective. And you're getting a lot more bang for your buck. At this point, I pop reload booster because I know this guy is out of options. Where is he gonna turn? If he turns out, I can still get good penetrations on him with AP because otherwise he's gonna ground. I pop reload booster, takes it down to about nine seconds, I think, or 10 seconds per salvo, which is really nice. And at this point, it's just pen city. With a, with a heavy armor cruiser like the Moskva, you, you're just going to be doing citadels all day long. And it's going to feel so goddamn good. This is probably the best feeling you have in a BB. When you just got that cruiser just sailing full broadside and you're like, oh yeah. T today's going to be the day that you... Oh, there we go. Moskva goes down. The only thing really left to deal with is the Chapayev. But again, even that's not a big issue. Um, We have the Des Moines pushing in. And as you can see from the left hand flank, we pretty much succeeded in destroying their their right hand flank. The Fatigue Group's on 17k, the Mark is on 35, and the Cleveland's on 13, so it's only a matter of time for those ships to go down. And it's take two, Chapayev Bogolu. Again, sailing full broadside. I decided to use AP, and we do get a Citadel on two penetrations, but. Take note, we also got more overpens. And this is this is gonna lull you into a false sense of security. The chap of positioning like this is probably the one of the worst things he could do. Well, if he was just facing me, because my shells can just pen straight through him, and they have enough time to actually arm so that they explode. And you see this with a couple of DDs also, and maybe the Smolensk. If your ship, um, if you set full broadside, I don't know what BB you can do this with, but if you set full broadside in the Smolensk, um, I think if the shells are fast enough, they'll actually just overpen you consistently and you won't actually get penetrations. So it's, it's such a, uh, I don't know, this game has so many kind of just meme characteristics that make it um, both really interesting but also really frustrating to play at the same time. Um, but that being said, this point is just a cleanup. We're up to 130k. Again, we're just learning the ship. We're not expecting any massive damage numbers at this point. But um, yeah, it's 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 been fun so far. It's definitely a ship I'd recommend. Even though I don't think you can get it in the armory anymore. Maybe you can. But I know at least it's been removed from the armory pretty goddamn soon. Um, but yeah, overall, I don't know how I feel about the turret configuration. Um. Again, 
different playstyles, different suitors, different things. Yeah, it's really up to the individual person. But yeah, I think I feel more comfortable with at least having one turret on the back, like the Republic. Um, just, just for protection's sake. You don't want to be caught out one time if you're pushing around an island and then you have no back turret. So <laughs> you're pretty much done for if you get caught out in your rear. That being said though, this has been a pretty fun ship. A lot of new characteristics, like the reload booster, that I haven't occurred, encountered before in the game, that make it actually a really, really fun ship to play. But with that being said, we're going to take down the Hindenburg. I hope. The game's going to end. And it's going to be GG. So, until next time, I'll see you in the next one.